Today's video is going to be a little bit different than what I normally share on the channel. And I want to share with you today something that God spoke to me specifically in my prayer time recently that I believe is not only for me, but somebody that watches Glasshouse TV that needs to hear this word. It moved me deeply, and I'm just going to be really blunt and transparent with you guys in this video. There's not going to be a whole lot of scripture. It's just going to be me pouring out my heart to you. I am just a normal guy, just like all of you. I'm just a human being, just like you guys. I have feelings and emotions and fears, temptations, all of the above. I struggle to have faith sometimes. I struggle to believe. I have doubts of my own sometimes. I'm not perfect I make mistakes. I mess up. And when I'm sharing scripture on this channel, I don't always hear a clear voice from the Lord telling me what to say and what to do. In fact, more times than not, I am walking by faith. And it's just an overflow of my study time with the Lord and of his word and what I feel like he's speaking and showing me. And then I come on here and share it with you guys. I prepare the best I can and try to give you accurate information that you can carry into your everyday life and apply it, right? That is what I'm trying to do on Glass House. But some days are much harder than others. I fight a lot of spiritual warfare behind the scenes that many people don't see. I have struggles. I have good days and I have bad days. Sometimes I feel like I'm on top of the mountain, just full of the power of the Holy Spirit, right? Come at me, anybody. I got it. I'm ready for this. I can just preach and preach and preach, right? And then other days, it just takes so much work an effort to come in here and turn this camera on and make these videos. I feel like all hell is against me. I feel anxious. I feel depressed. I feel upset. I feel worried. I feel self-conscious and insecure. You name it. I feel all of these things. Some of you are already like, okay, I understand. I can relate to where you're at, Adam. But I want to share with you what God spoke to me today. Why am I telling you all of this? Because I am in a moment, guys. I've been, I've, I've had a really hard week this week. I'm, I'm just going to be blunt and honest with you. And I've been carrying some things, some heaviness on me. You know, the Bible says, put on the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. So I took that in my prayer time and I said, Lord, take this from me. I was just worshiping the Lord, and I said, take this from me, God, whatever this is. Couldn't put my thumb on it. I couldn't tell you what it is, but it's something that I battle often, this heaviness that I feel. And the Lord spoke to me this so clearly, and this is what I want to share with you, and I'll give you a little context to it, and then I'll share the word that I think is for somebody specifically. But He just spoke to me, and He said, why do you continue to lay out the fleece? And just hold on, I'll, I'll explain if you don't know what I mean by that. And he said, why do you continue to lay out the fleece? And when I heard this, I knew exactly what scripture God was referencing, what the Spirit was referencing. And I just began to cry and began to weep. And I said, Lord, forgive me. Then he said, do you not believe that I have spoken to you? And I said, yes, Lord, I know that you've spoken to me. And then he continued and he said, then why do you continue to lay out the fleece? That was all that he said. And I just began to weep and repent of my unbelief. And I said, Lord, I am sorry. And I felt like this word was not only for me, but somebody out there specifically that watches these videos. If you don't know what I mean, when I'm talking about laying out the fleece, it comes from Judges chapter 6. It's when God called Gideon. Israel is under oppression. To give you some backstory, uh, the angel of the Lord or Jesus himself appears to Gideon and calls him and he says, you mighty man, you're going to be the one to free Israel by your hand. And Gideon says, Lord, how can I save Israel? My clan is the weakest in Manasseh, and I am the least in my father's house. So Gideon basically says, I am the least qualified to do this. But Jesus called him a mighty man of valor. Gideon was anything but on the outside and in his own mind. He was actually frustrated that this God that his ancestors had talked about that brought them out of Egypt and did all of these things, but yet he was experiencing oppression. He was not experiencing this favor of God in his his own mind. And now Jesus appears and says, you mighty men of valor, you're going to be the one by your hand that I'm going to free the people, right? So Gideon is very, very insecure in this call. So what does Gideon do? What you and I often do, he asks for a sign. If you are Jesus, if you're the Lord, if you're the angel of the Lord, 
then prove it. Show me that you are who you say you are. And that's exactly what happens. And that's what he does. And then he tells him to go tear down the altar of Baal. And then now Gideon is gearing up to go take out the Midianites and the Amalekites that were oppressing Israel. He's getting ready to do the thing God had called him to do. And what happens? This is where the fleece comes into play. Gideon said to God, if you will save Israel by my hand, as you have said, so God, if you meant what you said, behold, I'm laying a fleece of wool on the threshing floor. If there is dew on the fleece alone and it's dry all on the ground, then I shall know that you will save Israel by my hand, as you have said. This is important. As you have said, as you have said said. So what is he saying here? He's going to take this fleece. He's going to lay it outside and said, God, let this fleece be wet and the dew on the ground around will be completely dry. There will be no dew on the ground and it will only be on this fleece. And what happened? God did it. It was so. And it says he could wring out the fleece and there was enough dew in it to fill a bowl with water. But it doesn't end there. Gideon comes back again. And this is how we know that Gideon was probably feeling convicted about this. He knew he was pushing it at this point because he says, Let not your anger burn against me. Let me speak just once more. Please let me test just once more with the fleece. Please let it be dry on the fleece only. And on all the ground, let there be dew. So he asked God for the inverse. Let the dew be all on the ground, everywhere around, but on the fleece, let it be completely dry. And God did it. But what is the point? What was the Lord speaking when he said, why do you continue to lay the fleece? Because of what Gideon said. He told the Lord, as you have said, as you have said, he knew the Lord had spoken. And at what point does doubt become disbelief and unbelief, and then disobedience. What the Lord was speaking when he said, Adam, do you not believe that I have spoken? I keep all of the words God gives me, the instruction he speaks to me personally. I write it all down and I'll often go back and read it for encouragement and instruction to know that I'm on the right track to doing what God has asked me to do. And I know in these moments, this is absolutely the Lord. And that's what he was referencing when he told me that. And he said, so why do you continue to lay the fleece? Because y'all, just like you, I have my own doubts. And I'm sharing this to be vulnerable because it's not just for me. It's for somebody else listening today. And I keep saying, God, I know you said this, but will you show me? But will you prove it? But will will you give me a sign? Will you do this or will you do that or will you confirm it this way? Now, I'm not talking about a word you're hearing for the first time. I'm talking about something you know is God. You know it's been spoken. It's been confirmed, whether by a trusted friend or church leadership or the word of God or all of the above. You know God has told you to do something, but you continue to test him. You continue to ask him to show you a sign over and over and over and over. And my friend, I was moving into a place of unbelief because I was asking God to do something he had already spoken because I didn't see my circumstances around changing. They didn't line up with what God had told me he was going to do in my personal life. So I kept saying, God, are you sure about this? Remember, the Bible says without faith, it is impossible to please God. Peter stepped out of that boat because of the faith that he had. See, many of us will not step out of the boat because we see water. We don't see land. We don't see any way to walk, even though Jesus is telling you to walk. And you're saying, but wait a minute, the circumstances don't match up with the instruction that I am hearing. So the Lord is saying to somebody today, you know that I've spoken. You know what the instruction is. I don't know what it is. I don't know what your personal situation is, whether God's told you to take a job or leave a job or move to a place or move away from a place or to start a YouTube channel and hit record or to start a ministry or to leave a ministry. I don't know what it is that God has spoken to you, but I do know this. He says, why do you continue to lay the fleece. I've given you sign after sign after sign. I've shown you. I've confirmed it. I've spoken. And I'm just asking you to be obedient. Obedience is greater than sacrifice. 
God loves when we are obedient. He loves when we step out in faith. And my friend, he's not going to let you fail. But if he told you to do it, God doesn't dangle the carrot. He's not lying to you. He's not trying to trick you. He's not setting you up for failure. We can trust him. He is a good father. And actually, he knows what's good for you better than you do. He actually knows what's better for us than we do. If we truly believe he is who he says he is and that he does what he says he will do. If we believe what the word of God says about him, that he is that person, then we will do it. Then we will put our faith into action and we will walk it out. It's amazing to me how God can simply just ask a question and I immediately am humbled before him and say, God, you're right. You did speak. You're not a liar and you don't go back on your word and your word will accomplish the reason and purpose for which you sent it. But I have to do my part in this specific situation. I don't know who this was for today, but this has been burning in my heart and I had to share it with you today. If it is for you, please reach out and let me know. Our email is in our profile on our bio and you can reach out to me directly there or on our Instagram page. You can message me there as well. But I know this word is for somebody today and I just pray that you would be blessed by it and have the confidence and faith to move forward in whatever it is that God is asking you to do because my friend, whatever it is, it's going to be rewarding. If you're not subscribed to the channel, I would genuinely appreciate it and ask you to hit the like button that's the thumbs up button and that tells YouTube to send this video out to more people so that they can hear this message I really appreciate you spending your time here today and listening to this video and I will see you in the next one